We're going to make a large indoor mural on the theme of the voyage of St. Brendan in the 6th century. We're going to make collages or cutouts to tell the story. First of all, you'll need a paper support. The paper support needed for this mural is a roll of wallpaper lining from Woody's or Albany. It's around seven euros. Cut a section to the length you want. Get it to lay flat by re-rolling it in the opposite direction of the curl and secure with elastic bands for a few hours. Now it's ready to attach to the wall or lay it on the floor if you prefer in order to work on it. For this exercise, we will use A3 coloured card. Once children have looked at some of the images from the voyage of St. Brendan, ask them to cut out shapes for collaging in order to represent the fantastic sights that Brendan encountered on his epic journey. Rose is going to have a go at doing Volcano Island. That's good work, Rosa. So if each child can represent one thing from Brendan's journey, we'll have plenty to make the mural. Glue down all the pieces to get them ready for putting up on the big sheet of paper. Collage is a fabulous activity and there's so much to be learned from it in terms of colour and shape. The only problem is it can get very messy very fast. So from the outside, show children how to keep their materials organised. Have three trays, an A3, one for A3 scraps plus the card, A4 for A4 paper and scraps and a box for tiny pieces. The A4 card is more vibrant than the A3, so use as much A4 as possible but you'll need the A3 for the bigger shapes. Stop every five minutes to do a tidy and use the wipes to keep the hands and surfaces glue free. It's really nice as well to use a lot of Matisse's organic shapes. Use the brightest paper you can find. And it's a great idea to gather rolls of wrapping paper anytime you see them going cheap for your collage projects.